Today, we're unboxing some amazing new animals. But first, I've got to decide where they're going to go. So I'm looking for an enclosure that we can set up on display that has a lot of ground area because these guys spend a lot of time on the ground, but they also like to climb in bass too. So it's going to be an interesting thing to try to find exactly what I'm looking for. So I think what we're going to do is actually put a few of the Lacertas actually in this enclosure here. We actually have a cave gecko in here. Let me see if I can find them. Pretty cool animal. Don't get me wrong. I love cave geckos, but they hide all the time and they're not that great of exhibit. Now we could set the Lacertas up off exhibit, but I really think that they're a cool display animal. So I think what I'm going to do is redo this enclosure here. Although there's not a lot that we have to do in this one, it's pretty good because they're ground dwellers. They like to burrow, so a nice thick layer of cocoa bedding is good. We'll put a couple more branches because they like to climb. It has UV light. It has a basking light on it. Even has a misting system which is good because they like to drink that way so i think this enclosure is going to be absolutely perfect hey mike can you do me a favor can we break down this enclosure here clean it out disinfect it and get it ready for the new lizards let's do it it's gonna be amazing And when Mike is doing that, what do you say? We see what cool animals we just got. Always amazing to get new things. I've been excited about these ones for the last month and a half or so because I actually talked to the person and they said that they were going to work with them a little bit, get them a little bit more docile before they ship them, get them well established so that they actually are going to do really good for us. So let's see what we have here. Oh, first we have a little bit of a, uh, a shirt. It's actually not a shirt. It's actually an apron. So I'll go ahead and open up this box with uh, this apron on. It's really good in case they poop on me. You know what I mean? These are such cool little lizards. I've got two different color faces so you will be blown away when you see the other ones i'm going to show you these ones first i love dark animals and these are actually melanistics Woo! look at that right there these are what they call jeweled lacertas but this is a melanistic or a black jeweled lacerta these are such incredible little lizards weird too because you think of lizards from you know africa south america believe it or not these are from like spain portugal can even be in france and italy weird right european lizards but they are such cool animals males can get up to 20 24 inches long with their tail and the females typically stay a little bit smaller than that. I always think of these guys as little tiny tegu lizards. I mean, they're so cool. Such cool, inquisitive animals. Really cool. And again, these are the black ones. They're the melanistics. And we got a male and two females of these. Like I would mention, just wait to see the other ones because they are absolutely incredible. For now, let's go ahead and check and see how Mike is doing. I'm doing pretty good. How about you? No, Mike. The enclosure. Oh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. That's nice. Uh -oh. I think that's pretty clean. Bye. 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 Connie, have you seen Mike? Um, have honestly, you seen no. Mike? Mike. Mike, where you at, man? I'm right here, dude. What's going on? I'm trying to beat these monitors, man. Why are you on that? Why are you in that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Dino. Our the dogs are on fire. We're painting off the ball, Chief Forces. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh my God! Johnny, no, I made a mess. Yeah, they call me Little John. Who am I supposed to do this stuff? Oh, I know. Put it in the cage. I think it's. I'll try it down. So something like something like that. Oh, oh, that don't stick. I just can't push the top. Got it. Let me. Yeah, it's beautiful. Stick that right there. Where should the big fluffy? Also right here. Mic drop. Can't help it all. I can't see nothing. Whoever wore this last did not let it air out. Okay, it stinks. You did. All right. Uh, who do you want to do first? Beetle. Elvis. Bro, you're all up in my business. That's one of the ones you get. Are you ready? I need some, <laughs> need some freaking room to work with. Like your head. Yeah. Right that it? Good boy. Oh, he's quick. You don't want to know the <laughs> cotton. I'm after that. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Elvis, I'm not your dad. Yeah. I can't see anything. I'm sweating. It's foggy. Do you guys know that there's a new name for lizards from Japan? No. What is it? They're called kimono dragons. Wow, ha 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 ha. I forgot these. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Ah! Oh god, it was so good. 
Why am I doing this? Not so great setup, and Jessica's doing it off display. She's good at this stuff. Miss Brian, back at you with my friends over at Raycon. You guys know I love these everyday earbuds. I've been using them for years. I've made it a point to listen to one audiobook every single week for this entire year. So I use these guys all the time. They are super comfortable and even better than ever. Now you can get comfortable gel tips that make these things so incredible. They will not budge. They will not fall out. I promise you that. And with this amazing quality at about half the price of other premium brands, you certainly cannot go wrong. That's why they have 50,000 five-star reviews. And the thing that's so nice, whether I'm working with animals, traveling, or doing my workout, these guys have an eight-hour battery life. And with putting them in this beautiful carrying case right here, coming in different colors, by the way, they actually have 32 hours of shelf life. So you don't have to plug these guys in for a long time, and they last forever. I can get through an entire audiobook without having to worry about these things dying. And now you can actually go to buyraycon.com slash Brian B, and you can save 15% off your order. That's buyraycon.com, R-A-Y-C-O com slash Brian B for 15% off your order brought to you by Raycon. Back to unboxing and these guys are the crown jewel. <laughs> Excuse the pun there. These are jeweled Lacertas, and take a look at that animal right there. The colors are absolutely spectacular, like a rainbow, and as they get older, they get even more beautiful. This happens to be the male, and the males do get a little bit larger. They do get a little bit more colorful, too. So we got a male and actually three females of these guys. Now, they can live together until they get a little bit bigger, and then sometimes you want to separate these guys out. Now, interestingly enough, they don't always take to handling a tremendous amount, and they can get stressed out. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful, but these guys are already already socialized so well. I think we're going to be okay. Such cool little animals. I have been in love with Lacerda since I was little. Never ever kept them myself. So it's the first ones I've ever gotten. So incredible. And they can be super personable. They usually are out. Great display animals because they're very curious and they're always kind of running around. So this is going to be a great addition to the Reptarium. And when they get a little size to them, hopefully they'll be able to be handled a bunch because I think these guys are going to absolutely rock. So what do you say we go show the crew? No, I know you love lizards. What do you think? What even is this? This is what they call a jeweled lacerda. Hold He's it. He's just hanging out with you. I know, isn't that freaking cool? A jeweled cool? lacerda. Look at the blue and the color on these animals. Absolutely incredible. They're kind of like miniature tegus. Really, really cool, huh? Looks like an abronia. They're definitely one in a chameleon. Mike, what do you think, man? Our newest Whoa. little... Hey, look at the colors. These are jeweled Lacertas. So sweet. I know. Do you really like them? Yeah. Do you really like them a lot or Lacerta kinda? Lacerta kinda. Get busy with it. Wait, why do I have to be in the dino classroom again? Come on, man. Baller. Oh, it's not as good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at it. They got good at doing with the ball. Well, Mike, you did so good training this guy. Nice How did you do job. it? You know, just time and persistence. Really? Ready? 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 Okay, here comes the ball. Choo choo choo. Yeah. Woo! We got a dump truck on that dyno, dude. Oh, my God. So we basically have two groups here. We have normal jewel Lacertas, and then we have the melanistic Lacertas right over here, which is just a recessive mutation that's all black that is super cool. We're obviously gonna set these guys up into two separate things. We'll set the jewel Lacertas up here on display, and then we'll have to find an enclosure for the other ones off exhibit. I think I'm gonna talk to Jessica. You guys know that I love this part is actually releasing the animals into their new enclosure. This enclosure will be good for the next couple months, and then they'll have to get an upgrade from here, but it should be pretty cool. Lacertas are a great display animal, because again, they're very active, they're very curious and so cool. And you can see that the females have a much darker color to them. So they don't have that beautiful bright. They still have blue and absolutely gorgeous. But compared to the male, you can see this guy right here. He is just a stunner. I mean, look at that. And he's already getting larger than the females as well. He'll have a broader head and just an overall kind of more stout looking animal. Wow, that thing is so cool. So I'm just going to sit back, watch these guys a little bit and see them enjoy their new environment. I think this is going to be amazing. You gotta be careful, Mike. Where you at? This guy is very dangerous. Very, very wayward. All right, what is that? I can't see. Camouflage is so good that it evades the T-Rex eyes. I can't reach that. Not without ripping the suit. Why is your arm so small? Ah! <laughs> cushy, cushy. Dad? Now that's a dinosaur. Wow. wow. That was scary. Hey, get back in there. Try to pet it. 
Guys, I read this article about a bunch of lizards that hadn't taken a shower in days. Can you imagine the stink? So That's a good one. Dumb. <laughs> Lizardos are actually insectivores, so they're gonna eat things like roaches, crickets, superworms, things on that nature. You wanna make sure that they have UV light. You need about a 95 degree basking spot with about a 75 to 80 degree cool spot. And these guys spend most of their time on the ground, but they do like to climb and bask at times. So you definitely need some surface area in the enclosure for them. Now, as they get bigger, they're gonna need much larger enclosures. Adult size is about four foot by two foot by two foot is a perfect size enclosure should be all set up for the new lizards. Now it's time to release the little melanistics. These things are so cool. It's neat because you can still see just a little bit of pattern on them. It's almost like a bluish purple. Absolutely incredible. And again, we'll go ahead and just release these guys in here. And then we'll get them into larger enclosures as they get bigger. But man, I tell you what, I have been just absolutely obsessed with these things since the first time I saw them, probably 15 years ago. There was a guy named Bert Langenwarp, who was a legend in reptile, used to breed the heck out of these things. And that's what really made them popular. Now you hardly ever see them, so it's really cool. I love it. It's it's gonna be amazing to see these things grow up. You know guys, I was really hoping to write a long lizard joke, but I just thought it would drag on. Bruh. That's a dragon joke, it's not even a lizard joke. God, Mike. Oh, he's biting my shirt. He's biting my shirt, bro. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> what the? What do you want me to do? Ah! Oh, oh freaking lizard down the leash. That went to plan so well. What the heck, man? Listen, I don't know what happened. Is there a hole in my shirt? Yeah. He did it. This is why dinosaurs are extinct. They have one job. Whoa! Now he jumped. Ah! Freaking nails. I really wish I could stay longer, but I have to get going. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise... Ah! That's so funny!